sesame noodles, which is one of my favorite dishes as a kid. And I'm actually gonna be using spiralized courgettes today instead of noodles, and these are my absolute favorite at the moment. So I'm gonna be using my handheld spiralizer here, and it makes gorgeous courgette ribbons like this. Um, so I've done a few already, and then I'm gonna do one more just to show you how it works. There's loads of different spiralizers out there. You can get standalone ones that have big handles, but I kind of feel they're really hard to store, and for everyday use for things like courgettes and carrots, just much easier to use a little handheld one like this. So it's really simple. You just want to chop off the end and then you literally just twist. And you can kind of stop, take a break with the twisting every now and then to stop the noodle, otherwise you get really, really long um, ribbons that are kind of hard to eat. So you're left with these gorgeous courgette ribbons and you'll be really surprised how much of a difference the shape makes to the taste. They really, really taste like noodles. So I'm going to be adding some toasted sesame seeds at the end, um, which give it a really, really nice crunchy texture as well as the taste. And I'm going to be using a mixture of black and white sesame seeds, because the black ones look amazing sprinkled out throughout the green, but you can use whatever you have. Um, I'm going to toast them on a pan of medium heat, just for a few minutes until you hear a nice popping sound. So next I'm going to chop the peppers. And I'm just going to chop them into strips, kind of the same way that you would with fajitas or that kind of dish. But I'm going to do them in really thin little strips, so they're kind of the same texture as the noodles. So I'm just going to add these to the bowl with the courgettes. So I'm just going to give these a big toss and mix the peppers into the courgettes. Okay, so now I'm going to make the dressing. So I've got about a quarter cup of tahini here, which is what gives it the amazing sesame taste and also that really gorgeous creamy texture. And then I've got about three tablespoons of soy sauce here. And then two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. The juice of one lime. And just to balance out that bitterness a little bit, just got about two tablespoons of agave. You could also use honey in this. And then for one more hit of sesame, I've got um, about one tablespoon of toasted sesame oil. So to make sure you get this really creamy, you have to give it a really good whisk. Careful if you're wearing white. <laughs> and, um, so just keep whisking until you have a lovely creamy mixture. So once you've got this perfectly smooth, delicious smelling dressing, you're ready to go. So I'm just gonna pour it on here, drizzle it over everything. and then give it a really nice toss. So I'm just gonna use my hands to give this a really proper toss, make sure everything's coated in this creamy sesame -ness. So I like to serve mine on a big plate and scatter the sesame seeds all over, and it looks really, really gorgeous. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date with all my videos, and you can find this recipe and loads more on thelittlegreenspoon.com.